Now to a large study that could impact the thousands of women who will be diagnosed with breast cancer. The study was a focal point at the American Society of Clinical Oncology Conference. It shows most women with a common form of early stage breast cancer can safely skip chemotherapy. Joining me now is Dr. Elise Lauer. She's a UC Health oncologist and she's the director of the Breast Cancer Center at the UC Cancer Institute. No chemo two really big words for patients. You know, after hearing the two words breast cancer, hearing no chemo just sounds heavenly to most patients. And the nice thing today is that we are able to identify some women with such early stage breast cancer that will be able to avoid chemotherapy. What early stage breast cancer are we talking about? That's very important because it's for women who have no negative invasive breast cancer that's fed by hormones and that it's HER2 new negative. Okay, UC was part of this study. We were, it's called the Taylor X trial. Mm -hmm. It was completed a while ago, and with most studies with such big magnitude, it took a long time to finish and to make sure that we could eliminate chemotherapy for so many of those patients. So if we're eliminating chemotherapy, what are the treatment options? Mm -hmm. So again, these patients had hormone-dependent breast cancer, and so all of the patients need to take hormone therapy. And for younger women who are premenopausal, tamoxifen would be the drug of choice. Mm -hmm. For those women who are postmenopausal, we use a different class of drug called the aromatase inhibitors. Mm -hmm. But they should all take some form of hormone therapy. But the good news is the bulk of them don't need the IV chemotherapy that we've traditionally used. Wow. And I'm just going to round back as a physician. Uh, you have had the duty of telling the one in eight mm -hmm. you have cancer. Um, so why is this such big news to somebody like you? Well, I think avoiding side effects from cytotoxic chemotherapy is a tremendous plus. There's no two ways about it. Um, chemotherapy can be life-saving, mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, we want to avoid it, uh, both in the short term with the side effects as well as some of the long-term toxicities. The, the good part about an oncologist uh, and what we see today is that these women have great long-term life expectancies. Mm -hmm and they're able to put this breast cancer diagnosis in their lives and not have sometimes that hiatus of several months that happens when you're taking chemotherapy. You can go forward much more quickly and have a much more normal life. And that is beautiful. Nick. Yes. Oh, yes. Dr. Yeah. Lauer, thank you for joining us, for offering a little perspective. And as always, this is something you should talk with your doctor about, correct? Absolutely, because yeah. it's just for some women with certain kinds of breast cancer. Very, very important. We still need chemotherapy for some stages and for some types of early stage breast cancer. But talk to your physician to see if now you may be one of those lucky ones that can avoid the chemotherapy. Got it. Thanks for the good news. Oh, thank you.